Hey everybody, this is Randy Santel, Atlas, and I am hungry and very, very excited tonight because it has been forever since I've had delicious Filipino food, but it's my first time for a food challenge up in Wausau, Wisconsin. We have lots of people here, which is much appreciated. We are actually here at Timekeeper Distillery. I do have two drinks from them that are not part of the challenge. We are all here courtesy of our friends Ed and Marjorie. Marjorie is from the Philippines. They both own the restaurant A Taste of Manila, which is also in conjunction with West Side Tasty Treat. Katina and I are up here. We're the first two people to attempt and help kick off their brand new Sorry Not Sorry Filipino Food Challenge. Now, I've only got 45 minutes to finish everything here, and it is Sorry Not Sorry. The first sorry is spelled S-A-R-I, and that basically means variety. I actually haven't had Filipino food since I did that food truck challenge down in South Carolina a few years ago, but there is a massive mound of pancet here, which is made with rice noodles, whole bunch of healthy vegetables, whole bunch of garlic on that. And then on this plate, we also have eight of their pork, lumpia, loved lumpia the last time I had it. We do have two massive softball sized scoops of their garlic fried rice. That's gonna be yummy. And then I love chicken thighs and legs, so this is gonna be awesome, but I've got three big pieces of chicken adobo. It's all got a bunch of sauce and more garlic on it, along with a lot of potatoes. But I don't think this is gonna be part of the challenge. I've got two of their ice creams that they serve. This one is more Filipino. It is a mango, and then this is berry. 45 minutes, if I fail, it's gonna be $45. But if I win, I'll get my entire meal for free. I will not get a sweet t-shirt, I don't think, but I'll be the second person with my name and photo up on the wall of fame. Let's get this challenge started. All right, time to dominate, get overall win 1,033. Big thank you to the main owners, Dan and Kim of Timekeeper Distillery. Big thank you to Ed and Marjorie for having us up to take this challenge. Katina's record is 1505. She did this drink, but didn't have any ice creams. I'm just an idiot and I love ice cream, so I'm gonna have those, but let's do it. One, two, three. Boom. All right. We'll do a pork lumpia to start without any sauce. I thought these were going to take longer to eat. The lumpia and the pan set are the two big sellers for a taste of manila, and I know why. Both are amazing. His rice noodles, all the healthy vegetables are awesome. Lumpia is a little different than egg rolls and stuff. There's no noodles in this, just lots of healthy vegetables and then lots of minced, I think, pork. All right, courtesy of Timekeeper Distillery, we've got this old fashioned with bourbon. I've got a bar cart, which is a canned cocktail. It's got gin. It's called the Bee's Knees because it's got honey and lots of other deliciousness. So I'm gonna sip this first. Okay, I don't have a lot of gin, but I would drink this a lot more than I do. This is awesome. And it's gluten free. I haven't had a big spoon in a video in forever. It's time to use it. These do not need sauce. These limbia are so good. I'm getting my healthy greens. I'm gonna have some of this ice cream. It's just staring at me and looks delicious, but 
Mango is the more Filipino option, so I'm gonna go with that. I'm actually gonna finish this. If you didn't know this, this is cold. Like Wisconsin, Wisconsin is cold. I'm really glad I stopped and ate that. That was yummy. So let's do uh, some cocktail. All right, let's have some of this adobo chicken. I used to rotisserie a lot. This is better than what I used to cook uh, back when I did it. All right, potato time. That is really good with all this food. I don't think I'm gonna beat Katina's record, so good job to her, but we have a lot of rice. Let's start on this first one. It's been a couple years since I've been to the Philippines. After eating all this food, I want to go back. All right, done with the bee's knees. That was yummy. We'll have the old fashioned later. We've got another chicken thigh, which is great. Let's do it. My goal for 2022 is to finally do a 10 pound challenge and win. I wish I could do a 10 pound pan set challenge. That was amazing. Or 10 pounds of lumpia, I would try that too. Or 10 pounds of anything Katina cooks. Nineteen fifty in, we'll do this other softball sized thing of garlic fried rice. Amazing. I should not have done that. All right, I am gonna do the ice cream first. We already did the mango float ice cream. Delicious, this is a berry. The other was more Filipino with the mango, but I think I might choose this one. This is amazing. And it's berry, so it's loaded with antioxidants. I do want to preface the ice cream is not really part of the challenge. I'm a professional, so I'm trying to do more. I'm done with the ice cream. Another healthy piece of fruit. And another. So like DJ Cali. I'm all about moderation, I don't chug. I am a beer guy. You guys all know that, but. That cocktail in the can was delicious. This is great too. All right, Nastravi. Not done yet, I didn't know there's a, is this a tomato? What is this? Okay, it's a cherry. Stop it. Tomato's a fruit too. That was a cherry. All right, done with the rest. Ooh. I do 
do not even know where to start on saying what was the most delicious part of that. That was all so good. Not the official record. Good job to Katina for that. Her video is linked down in the description, but 26 minutes and 23 seconds. Ooh. Thank you, of course, so much to Dan and his wife, Kim, everybody here with Timekeeper Distillery for hosting this event in Wausau, Wisconsin. Especially thanks to our friends Ed and Marjorie for having us in. Marjorie is from the Philippines. She cooked a lot of this food and it was amazing. All made with love. I especially love the pan set and the lumpia. Those were amazing, followed right behind by that chicken adobo, and then that garlic fried rice was delicious, of course, and then I love that ice cream. Everything was amazing. If you don't want to try this challenge, there's other stuff on the menu as well. But thank you guys all so much for coming. For winning in under the 45 minutes, I am going to get my $45 meal for free. I won't get a sweet t-shirt, I don't think, but I will have my name and photo up on their wall of fame once they start one. But for me, it was overall win, 1,033. Katina and I will be, I'll be doing my first challenge ever in Green Bay, Wisconsin tomorrow. But thank you guys for watching.